Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. How we doing? Did anybody, anybody manage to sleep through that last night? Oh my God. It, was, it didn't even bother shutting curtains. It was just like flashing bedroom and everything. It was, it was crazy. If you managed to sleep last night, I want to know how, how did you do it? So I had a few questions recently. Um, somebody messaged, uh, they found the calories. Um, I'm assuming they've used a BMR calculator, which is fine. They found the calories and they can't stick to it. So I said I'd talk about it on a live um, this morning. So more than likely you found your calories, but more than likely you've chosen something too low. Morning, Jason. Morning, Stephen. If you managed to sleep last night through that thunderstorm, I want to know how you did it. Because no chance. No chance. I'm feeling it this morning. But yeah, if you've um, if you found your calories, you've, you must have set your calories too low. Or, well, that's if you're hungry. If, if you're hungry, you're going to end up feeling fatigued. You're going to end up failing. You're going to end up binging. Your brain's going to be thinking of other food. Your calories are too low. That's what I'd said to, to start with. Um, I slept like a log, mate. I wish I did. Uh, but yeah, uh, some people do. Any of my clients that have got the calories set, more than likely, just about all of them, they struggle to eat that amount. And they, and, and they say, well, I don't eat much. I don't know why I've put weight on. You obviously are, because you've put weight on. Now, I've set you these uh, calories, protein, carbon, fat goals, and all of a sudden it's too much food and you're losing weight every week. So yeah, there's something, some, something to miss. But should never be starving. If you're starving, there's something wrong. Something definitely wrong. It needs reviewing. Um, it's, it might be that you're not tracking your food properly. Maybe you're not weighing it properly. Maybe your protein, carbon, fat actual levels you've set are wrong. Um, or the, 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 there's something to miss. There's something to miss. So what I'd do, I'd go back, do your BMR calculator again. Don't pick the lowest of the set of calories. Nobody absolutely does nothing. We walk about, we go to the toilet, we get up, we go to the fridge, we go to the shops, we, we walk about. Even if you don't do any exercise, you're still using calories, walking about and doing stuff. So don't set them too low. Try it, get it a couple of weeks, see what's, hap see what's happening. In a couple of weeks, you should have started losing. Should have, there should be some difference, should be something hap something that's changed. So yeah, if you struggle still, let me know, I'll get back to you. Um, another question I got asked, what sort of exercise do I suggest? I'd suggest resistance training. It helps with osteoporosis later on in life and brittle bones. Um, I, I suggest it because I like it. Plus, it's got benefits. But what do you like doing? This is what I say to everybody. What do you like doing? Is this something you really like doing? Do a lot of that. Because that's how it's going to be sustainable. And that's how you're going to continue. And that's how you're going to enjoy it. And that's how you're not going to really need motivation to go and do it because you enjoy doing it. It makes sense, doesn't it? Yes, Jason, resistance bands, he's on it. Resist, Jason Band Humphreys. <laughs> so get what you like to do, start doing that because that, that that's a right, really good start, really good start. Um, it might be a, a point we have to start with 5K steps. You might struggle to get your 10K steps in. That's fine. But what we'll do, you just, week by week, you keep adding more on, adding more on, adding more on. And you're just going to get stronger and better at it. And then before you know it, 10k steps, it's just not an issue. But that's what, that's going to be his goal, 10k steps. But if you're at 5k, his next goal is going to be 6. His next goal is going to be 7. His next goal is going to be 8. Morning, Kev, you alright, buddy? If you're watching, say hello. If you're watching later, hashtag replay. Uh, so yeah, did you manage to sleep through that last night, Kev? No chance, mate. I had no chance. So I wanted to talk about one of my clients this morning. Um, I'm not going to mention his name, but he's decided to knock alcohol on Ed, which I'm totally behind him. To support him as a group, because we are a group, um, and there's 30 others in there, one guy gave up drinking, so I did it as well. I don't, I'm, I'm so sober now, so I'm on a sober counter. Honest to God, guys, there's some good apps for this. I think, I, I can't remember what it's called. Sober time or something like that. And it messages me every morning to tell me. Not that it needs to, like, but it does. It messages me to tell me my new count, my new amount of days. So we're backing him up. And there's not only me doing it, there's quite a few other people doing it as well. 
So one person has now had an effect on quite a lot of group and we've all, we're all backing each other. So we all help each other and we're all supporting each other. So I just think that's great. I think that's really good. I only expected me to do it just to support him, but there's a lot of other people doing it as well. So he's made that decision because he's now in control of his own, own future. He used to have a few drinks through week and then quite a lot at weekend and he was struggling and he, he wants to see some abs. It's going to be one or other, isn't it? I'm not saying totally give up drinking, but we, what we could have done is limited it. But no, he wants to do it and I'm there and I'm going to support him and we're going to do it. As, and there's quite a few others, so we're going to do it as a team. We're going to do it as a group. But his future is going to look a lot different now just by taking that one step, making that one change. His future's going to, and his bank balance is going to look a lot better as well. Uh, but he's proper focused on it. And it's something he's really wanted to do and not been able to do in in past. But now, with right mindset, boom, he's on it and he's doing it. So I always said to my clients, you need an end goal. What do you want to achieve? What do you want to get? Um, morning, Denise. If you're watching, say hello. If you're watching later, hashtag replay. Um, so, yeah. End results, we set them or we have an idea of what, what we want to achieve. And this is why I always say, download a picture off internet, whatever it is, something that you want to look like. But that might be, for some people, it might just be months away. For others, it might be six months away. For other people, it might be a year away. And these goals are massively long. But we have to, we create an end result, what we sort of want. But the, the problem people tend to find is what we're going to do week on week to get to that stage or what we're going to do now. So we've got to break it down. You've got to, if, if your goal's a year away or what you want to look like, we've got to break it down. Where, we, where do we need to be in six months? Where do we need to be in three months? Where do we need by the end of this week? What can we do today, which is the most important, what can we do today to help us on his, on his way? Now, for most people, like I said, it might just be steps. You, you might be carrying a hell of a lot of weight that it might just be steps. That's all you need to do. Or you might not have done any exercise before in past, which is fine. So we start off with something really simple, something really low, something really that you can get to grips with, and then, but something we can make progress at so we can get better at it and better at it and better at it. So we're getting closer and closer to that end goal, which is, like I said, it could be a year away. Um, but like I said, my clients are coming in week on week. Honest to God, I'm absolutely amazed with some, some difference. Some, I can see change. I can see change and it's massive. It's, in some people's, I, I can't wait to show you photos before and after. Honest to God, it's unbelievable. Um, but like I said, this guy that's stopped drinking, he's finding it sustainable because he's got older his mindset. He's in control and he's not just going from one drink to another to another, finishing work and just getting freaking smashed every night. It's a massive change and he's done it. I think he's near enough 20 days now, which is, which is brilliant, isn't it? We always struggle. We, it's easy to pick up bad habits, really easy. And I know this, I've done this, and I, it's easy to switch back to bad habits. It's hard to pick up good habits and make them habits. It's really hard. Normally, with a bad habit, you get the payoff. You, it's something good that then ends up in pain. So say if it is drinking, start drinking, you're feeling good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next morning, you get up, you feel crap. If you are trying to pick up a good habit, it might be exercise, it's the pain, but then in the end of it, you feel good. It's the totally opposite, isn't it? So it's harder to pick up a good habit and keep it going. But that's where we need to be. And this is what I push on to my clients. So end of the day, you need to enjoy your journey. Find something you like to do. Find something you find rewarding. Find something that, you, that you, you're you going to do and you're going to sustain and you're going to keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Even if it is just walking with dog. Even if it is just walking with kids. It... It's whatever you want to be able to do. And what we do, we tailor it to you to, so that you lose weight and you achieve your goals eventually. So that's all I've got for you this morning. If you did manage to sleep through thunderstorm, I want to know how, because that were impossible. 
<laughs> See you tomorrow, guys.